Hey guys, welcome back to the Cambridge RTG. Interestingly, Pina Monti is top of the goal scoring charts currently. He was exceptional against us for Burnley. You can see in that uh, news article there actually, uh, four players involved in the Player of the Month September shortlist, including Antoine Semenyo and Jack Rudoni, as well as uh, Pina Monti and Pickley, Burnley's front two who, as we say, were very, very good against us. I can't remember. Were we able to beat Burnley? It was like 2-1 in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, we won 2-1 against Burnley. Like we've had a bloody ridiculous start to the league season, haven't we? Although we have Manchester City away first today. Uh, we'll be simming that and simming Queen's Park Rangers in the Cup and playing Brentford, Fulham and Southampton. Again, to reiterate, for those that may have missed the past couple of episodes, uh, in the first season in the Premier League, when we come up from the league below... To give us the newly promoted to the Premier League feel of the first season, we sim the big six. S saying that, we simmed the game away from home against Liverpool and beat them. So let's see what happens here. Let's see, do I need to make sure that their team is lined up the right way? I certainly do, because I see Militao there at uh, left back and Kieran Tierney at centre back, which certainly shouldn't be the way. We want to make sure we get a realistic or as accurate a prediction as we possibly can. Pedro Porro is a right back, isn't he? He was a right wing back. There you go. Uh, Kone, De Bruyne, Locatelli. Of course, they're playing the CDM at centre mid and the centre mid at CDM. There you go. What do you know? It actually works when everyone's in the right position. Right, sim match. How are we going to get on at the Etihad? We're going to draw. Semenyo with a last gasp equaliser. 88th minute. We went 1-0 up through Semenyo as well. Semenyo is battering the Premier League, by the way. Julian Alvarez... Had a goal disallowed in the 15th minute. Kulisevsky equalised two minutes after we scored. Kulisevsky then scored again. 15 minutes or so from time and we equalise. I mean, that's a brilliant start to the season for us. But, like, yes. Like, I'm, I'm re really torn at the minute because... Oh, let's delegate that and you can go out on loan. Because... It, I understand that my side is, on paper, good enough to be where we are in the league. But at the same time, it was on paper good enough to batter the championship. And I didn't. Like, comparatively, the quality difference between my team and the rest of the Prem, there's a, a shallower gap in quality between my team and the rest of the quality in the championship where we were last year. But, and the year before, prior to that. In fact, even more so the year before when we had Chapman and Coles. Yet still, whoops, we're still doing even better in the Premier League than we were in the Championship. It feels, it's really, really weird right now. But such is the nature of FIFA, I suppose. Right, up next for us then will be the played game at home after an international break against Brentford. Brentford have Burnley's old keeper, Nick Pope in goal, Matty Cash at right back. Seamus McVeigh, Felipe Morato, and Marash Kambula as the three as the three centre backs with Rico Henry at left wing back. Samu Costa, Joey Fearman, and Mateus Cunha in the midfield for them with Isaac Sykes, 84 rated regen, and Yusufa Mukoko up top. This is the first time I think I've ever played against Mukoko in a career mode save, especially such a well grown Mukoko. I believe his Potential is actually higher than 84. I'll have a quick look on Sophie for you. Sophie Mukoko's potential is 89. So uh, even seven seasons in or six seasons and a bit in, he's still not fully developed. But 84 is still pretty damned good. We are growing well and our league form is going very well. But it's always a challenge in the Premier League. And just as quickly as you can win games and go on a nice run. You can lose games and go on a horrible run. We've seen it plenty of times throughout the years, so we can never, despite the fact that our team is pretty damn good, we can never get complacent. And are higher than us at present, but they deserve it. They played very well against us. Kate Gordon, lift this in. Not exactly where I wanted that to go, to be honest, but somehow Stones brought that down. And Brera Martins doesn't score many. That was travelling towards target, though. Towards target, though. See what we can do from the corner. Oh, go on, Michael. Up we go. He's won the header and Nick Pope can't keep it out. Michael Gwilt, one of the best centre-backs in the whole Premier League, scores a goal. 
Cambridge 1, Brentford 0. Should Pope have kept that out? It was headed down low. Oh, it was at him, actually. I thought it was headed down low. Couldn't quite tell from the previous uh, previous angle. For some reason, the, the replay is a bit framey. I think Pope should have done better with that. But decent enough header from Michael Gwilt. His first goal of his Premier League career. Across to Gwilt. Keep going, keep going. Go on, Sam. Whip it, son. Oh, it's a teasing ball. So difficult to deal with as a defender. But they have dealt with it. Pereira Martins into Semenyo. Looking for Rodoni. Oh, I want to try and get this into Semenyo, who's now made great movement. And we're in for a second. And he'll bury it. Antoine Semenyo is taking the champion... Sorry, the... Premier League by storm, the same way that Joey Ironside took League One and the Championship by storm. He is certainly befitting of that number nine shirt left vacant by Big Joey, isn't he? Leading the line very well indeed. Out wide nicely looking for the run of Rico Henry. Down inside to Fearman and there's Mukoko waiting for a sharp turn. In fact, he goes back out to Henry who crosses it against Hoover who just about manages to keep possession. Through. Ah, it's loose. Slightly too heavy. Sykes. Henry trying to step to play Mukoko offside, although, to be fair, the left back had actually dropped in and would have played him on. Here's Fearman into the middle. Gwilt backed away from it. What the shit is that about? It happened to me yesterday in the uh, episode you saw then. It went wide, thankfully, on that occasion, but it was the man at the back post backed away from it, then did like a sidestep and then came towards the ball again. And Quilt has just done the exact same thing. He's there underneath the ball. And he he runs away from it to then get a run up at it and still doesn't get there. What are you doing, Michael? The whole time I'm in control of him, I'm trying to attack this ball. And you see him initially take, take note of what I'm doing with the controller. And he comes to step towards it like that. Then he backs away and then kind of glitches into a heading animation. 2-1. Thankfully, we'd already got two goals. We'll find Soria and I'll look for Semenyo and he'll poke that across there nicely to Rodoni. And he'll tuck this inside nicely for Soria as well. Gets under control. Oh, I thought I'd played the pass. Soria could go on a lovely solo run. Oh, what a goal! Soria buries it. I tried to play a pass and he just didn't kick it when Elijah Stone was rushing through the middle. So I was like, right, I've got to commit to it then. Just here, I tried to play the ball through, and he just didn't. He took an extra touch. Was like, oh, I've got to run around the outside. Again, Nick Pope gets hands to it, but can't keep it out. Young Pablo Soria. Oh, Nick Pope's having an absolutely awful game. Young Soria gets his first goal for me in a played game. And to be honest, worth waiting for. Really lovely solo run. 3-1. Sorry, Brentford. You're destined to lose this. At least I hope from here. If I throw away a 2-0 and a 3-1 lead, I'll be absolutely living with myself. Oh, we got there, Rudoni, but it's going to square and free for them. Sykes into Mateus Cunha. He has the option out wide right. Matty Cash is going to drive down the line. He's doing well here. Stands up nicely. Gwilt gets there this time. Why can you do that last time, pal? Oh, he shouldn't have hit sprint. Sykes winds up. He's going to cannon back. Look at that press. Why are Brentford pressing? Oh! Ref, cynical from Morato, Felipe Morato. That is very, very cynical. Just to make sure we don't get the counter attack. Guess what? Oh, I'm not going to score anyway. <laughs> Stone to Semenya. Bit of acceleration out wide here to Pablo Soria. Is he going to do it again? This time he will find the pass to Stone. Oh, he's gone again though. Ah, just couldn't quite, couldn't quite find the angle for the pass. Twitch chat have dubbed him. Because, of course, he's the Di Maria regen, Angel Di Soria. You'll have to let me know in chat if you, in uh, the comment section if you like that. Angel Di Soria, kind of building on the whole Rude Van Nibsleroy thing we had going on earlier on in the, uh, in the year. It uh, might stick, it might not, Angel Di Soria. After that run, I think he's probably earned a nickname like that, to be honest. Or maybe he's earned the right to still be called Pablo Soria because he's finally arrived and announced himself on the Cambridge United save. Let me know in the comments section. Rodoni's going to come away on the counter here. Semenyo's just going to be onside. And Brentford's defence are just opening up at will here. Really poor. 
Why does this only tend to happen in the Premier League? All the way throughout the previous six seasons in the lower league, barely at all have we been able to counter like that on teams and get goals. Now we're in the Premier League, the opposition teams play awfully. Makes no sense. Antoine Semenyu continues his assault on the Premier League. Another goal for him. And we're 4-1 up. That is a ping. It's a nice ball inside as well. Their back line is just so stretched. Rudoni's in for a fifth. We'll get Semenyu a hat-trick if we can. We can. Three of the best. He's made them pay. Brentford concede a fifth. It's not actually our biggest win in the save, is it? We beat Luton by seven goals to nil in a previous season, which oddly happened to them this past weekend. They lost seven goals to nil to Fulham in the championship. So, turns out that was a realistic scoreline. Who knew? Cambridge 5, Brentford 1. They were a side in our history that did beat us to a league title back in, oh, I want to say 98, 99, I think it was. Or it might have been 97, 98. One of the two. Cambridge finished second in what was then Division 3, what is now League 2, and Brentford won the title on the final day, I think it was as well, to get promotion up to what was then Division 2 and now League 1 back in the late 90s. Cambridge never reached the Premier League. Brentford obviously have, but we are able to replicate, well not replicate, able to produce a Cambridge United Premier League performance and just look at the way they're cut apart I I do genuinely hate it he might have been offside there bro Martins he was it's not to be six it's stupid to me that the Premier League sides open up the way that they do when all of the sides we played in the championship in League One that play the same formation don't I get that perhaps sides at this level attack more and press more but it shouldn't work the way that it does. It shouldn't be as easy as it is. That was terrible for me. Mateus Cunha, can he make me pay for that mistake? Makoko finds Mesa. No, they can't. But, I mean, I've said this to Twitch chat. All I can do is play against what is in front of me. Like, I can't dictate the way that the AI play. So, all I can do is play against what's playing in front of me. I'm not going to artificially throw games to ensure that I finish top or to ensure that I don't finish top four the same way that if the boot was on the other foot I wouldn't artificially fix results to ensure that I did finish in the top four or get certain results we've never cheated one way so I'm not going to cheat the other if we get top four this year in our first year in the Premier League then so be it that's what's happened I don't think we will I think results will eventually even themselves out especially when we get to the business end of the season and uh and games come thicker and faster. But for now, we will enjoy this start to the Premier League whilst it lasts. Antoine Semenyo grabs a hat-trick. And we win by four. I mean, I had six shots and five went in. There will be games where that doesn't happen. So it's probably a freak result. But who knows? Probably not a freak result. More to the point with FIFA the way it is. That's us in fifth then. So we're still not doing massively well. And Burnley are up there still in third. So let's not get too carried away. Fulham, QPR and Southampton to come. Fulham have come up with us and are currently sat bottom of the table. They have an Engeling goal. But it's not Stefan. Throwback to the lead save on FIFA 20 that you guys absolutely loved. We had Stefan Engeling goal there, a regen that was unbelievable. And played a part in that Jamie Shackleton moment. But Yannick Engel, maybe a relation, who knows, in goal for Fulham here. Fossey at right back, 71 rated right back, 70 rated centre back. Then they've got Emmanuel Mamana, who's 80. Another regen of Bruno Gomez at uh, 74. Dries for Kraus was there with them last year. Dennis Bowanga, I think, might be new. Therese Francois, I think, might be new. Or at least wasn't used that heavily last year. David Caicedo on the left, they certainly had. Paolo Bernardo is their new cam. They did have a player whose name escapes me now that they sold to Dortmund. And they do still have Gonzalo Martins up top, who's now 89 rated. But evidently not lighting the league up as well this year as he did last year in the championship because they're bottom of the table. On the bench, they do have uh, Robert Navarro, Omari, Jay Stansfield's 81, Stephen Sessional's 77. 
They've got some good players, but I think having such a weak defensive line is probably why they are where they are. I've rotated a little bit for this game because it's Fulham and they are having such a terrible season. So Doyle is in, Okadina is in, Harmer actually came to me and asked for a game, so I thought, well, bottom of the table, why not? And Scott Twine is in on the left-hand side as well for Angel Di Soria. But uh, we should be winning at Craven Cottage. Semenyo has nine goals in eight games so far this season. I could have put Kwame in for this game, but I mean, I can't take Semenyo out when he's playing the way that he is. We should still win this one, though. The cross kicks that straight against McCallum. Thank you. Look at all the bodies flooding forward. I've not changed my tactics either, which is odd, because I swear my players never used to burst into gaps like that. It's like they've just had a change in mentality. It always used to be a struggle to try and break teams down. Catch that, please. Thank you. Slight deflection on the cross, to be fair. Big bowl out by Hubner, And Stone will get that to Rodoni. And now here's Gordon. Back to Ocadina. And forward to Gordon again. Drop the shoulder. Done him nicely. Stone. Out wide. And again. Dribble Ocadina. Delivers the ball. Oh. Um, yeah. No. Dribble, that was terrible, pal. Can Rodoni get to that? No. Buanga. Martins. Buanga. Lovely ball. He's in here. Bernardo. Trying out muscle with Michael Quill. And that was excellent defending. He may not be rapid in a straight line, Michael, but he is still super strong. And to be fair, he is actually quite fast in a straight line. But had to rely on both pace and strength there to ensure that they didn't get through to take the lead. Lovely turn by Rudoni, then a terrible second touch. But never mind, he's found Harmer well, who's then been tackled. How quick is Gwilt? Out of curiosity then, let me just have a look. 87 pace apparently, 81 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. So yeah, once he gets going, he is quite quick. His strength is 89.2, with boosts up to 92, thanks to sharpness and morale, etc. So no surprise that the striker couldn't hold him off. That's a lovely ball through. Martins! He's pretty good. He always does that against us. That's a cracking finish. I think that's worthy of watching again. We don't tend to do that very often with uh, opponents' goals, but plays the one too, and that's pretty good. Around the corner, Rodoni looking for Stone. Tried to dink it, didn't quite work. Harmer's won that well, though. Ocadina will look for him again, and Rodoni's found a bit of space. And there's a runner in Twine. We'll go back to Rodoni. Fire it early. It's a good block by Mamana. Half an hour played. It's still 1-0 Fulham. Rodoni's underneath this. Right underneath it. Didn't even bloody challenge for it. Dickhead. Doyle to Rodoni. That was meant for Kay Gordon. Never mind. I would have wanted to turn and shoot with Kay Gordon immediately. Twine looking for Semenyo. Uh, no space. Harmer. Rodoni. Oh, his touch and turn were quite clunky there. I swear Rodoni's dribbling is actually quite good. But he he's, does feel a little clunky at times in that cam roll. It's one, the one area where Falconer actually would be better than him. But obviously the rest of Rodoni's game is far superior to Kirk's, unfortunately, for the Scot. So he stays on the bench. Probably would have been a good opportunity to give him a game here, to be fair. So maybe at half-time I'll bring him on. Go on, Semenyo, into the, into the gap, into the space. You see the man on the far side that's getting forward, but we'll look for Rodoni. Goal! The man I've just been slagging off. 1-1. One, one. Caicedo again. Daiber getting in behind. Cadena was marshalling with him, but they're still working it about well here, Fulham. Nearly got a foot in so many times with Cadena there and just couldn't. Stop the passing angle. No, it's opened up for him anyway. Bollocks. Never mind, we got the block in. That was handy. Oh, I ran out of room. Go on then, Cade. In you go. Not that there's another, a single other Cambridge United man in the half with you. Elijah Stone looking for Semenyo. The defender just didn't even bother to look for the ball. But Semenyo's missed the target. Far too easy for me to play that ball through to Semenyo there. The defender just didn't want to go with the runner. Oh well. I missed it anyway, so his mistake goes unpunished. But if he makes it again, I'll make sure I bloody well punish him. Nice. Ow, overrun it. No, I'm okay. We'll look for a stone through that gap. It's twine. Come on in, Scott. Go on, Scott. Oh, the tug at the shirt. We'll have the free kick. I'm glad that he actually gave the tug of the shirt, to be fair. 
Uh, Harmer has decent free kicks. So does Scott Twine. He was the one that earned it. So let's give him the opportunity. Come on, Scott. Bury it. Go on, get in. Oh, bar and out. And then I can't win the following header. So close for Scott Twine to a stunning goal to give us the lead. But the woodwork denies him. Oh, they're making mistakes at the back. Get forward for me, please, lads. I see K Gordon there. And he'll bury it. Get in. 2-1 Cambridge. Brilliant goal from K Gordon. He hasn't been as good this year as he was last. But that's an important goal. He stepped up when we've needed him. Turns well. Oh, he's done me again. This Martins guy is next level. Well up, Callum Doyle. He's not someone I'd be interested in signing because Semenyo's bossing it and we're going to end up, when we get Champions League football, with that Benzema region because, let's, let's face it, nobody else is going to bloody well sign him. So I'm not going to need him as a striker, Martins, to even try him out. But he is really good. Why the keepers punch that is beyond me. But 17 minutes to go. We have a narrow 2-1 lead. It has been a much closer game than the one against Brentford. We're not that dissimilar a starting lineup to the one that played in that game. I tell you what, they're going to have to stop doing that though, Fulham. Everton gifted us a goal. And we were only able to get a point there, unfortunately. Harmer. Oh, I should have played the ball to Twine. I just saw him as I'd wound up. That's annoying. Oh, and they're in again. Gwilt up against Martins. I need that 91 sprint speed. Fulham really need to sort their passing out. They're playing like I used to at the minute. Can't help themselves but give possession away. It's Paolo. Nicely into Navarro. Martins is the obvious. Doyle is with him. He's gone for goal. That was on its way in. That was on its way in. Yikes. Corner to come in from Kruger for Fulham with minutes to go. Oh, Hubner pounces on it though. Just five left. We can see it out from here, I'm sure. Not made any substitutions because again, needing people to be fit for the cup game midweek. And those rotation players will get the opportunity to have a little bit more football. And who knows, they might get themselves, well they should actually get themselves through in that game. And line themselves up for even more first team football. The further we go in the cups, the more football they get. Ah, I've given that away though, and it looked like an easy pass to play. If they equalise here, I'll have just done an Everton. Got two minutes to stop his time added on, and they've given it away as well. So they will not do an Everton. I'll quickly look for Semenyo. Never mind. That'll be game. Cheers, ref. Thank you. Three points in the Premier League again. So that will maintain our league position, if not potentially get us slightly higher. Not sure who else is around us at the moment. But again, six shots and only two went in this time. As opposed to the six shots and the five that went in against Brentford. They, they were so easy against Brentford. They were never not going to go in, were they? Ocadina saying thank you for the football and he's willing to do a job for us out in that right back role if needed. And Hayward is asking if he's going to get the chance to play. He should be on the bench actually in this rotation 11, shouldn't he Hayward? If he's not, then I will put him on there. Where are you? Hayward. I'm blind. He's already on the bench. Sorry, pal. You're not going to get the start. Oh, I tell you what. Not for this. Not permanently. But you guys have asked for Falconer to play out wide. Because you think he's good enough to do so. So let's see. what He gets a plus two as a left winger. And then let's put, let's put Hayward in then. Sorry, Scott Twine, but to be fair, you did just start the last game. Right, a quick sim them in, in the cup. Hayes is up to 80 rated, I've just noticed. Oh, it's penalties only, but we are through against Queen's Park Rangers. So to the next round of the Carabao Cup we go, which may be the round of 16. I think it is. Oh, it's the quarterfinals next. Hello. That'll do. City, United, Spurs, Newcastle. Then either or of Chelsea Leicester, Arsenal Walsall and Swansea Liverpool. You can probably guess which way those games are going to go. Up next for us though, at the end of the week, is Southampton at home. One of our favourite saves we've ever done. We're a point off top in third. We couldn't, could we? Challenge for the title first season? In goal for Southampton, Aitor Carmona. 
We've got Kane Ramsey at right back, Jack Stevens, Papu Abu Cisse, it's Pape Abu Cisse, sorry, and Ricardo Mangas at left back. Nahitan Nandez on the right, Carlos Soler centre mid alongside Caleb Watts, and Musa Gineppo on the left, with Manu Vallejo up top alongside an 86 rated Jonathan David. Now, they had an 89 rated Martinez Fulham and they were 20th. They have an 86 rated Jonathan David and are 19th Southampton. They've also got an 86 rated Curtis Jones, who wasn't selected for their starting lineup, and Manu Sanchez as well. Not sure why, but we are at full strength for this one. So, rather obviously, we would like to win it. McCallum into Barrero. You see, Rudoni was like, give it to me! Okay. Replicating that made me take my hand off the controller, but still, what? Jesus Christ, leave Elijah Stone alone, you monster, Mr. Watts. He should certainly get a yellow card for that. I hope he does. Now, last time we played against a 4-4-2, it was Everton, and it was actually quite tricky. So I'm expecting this to, even though Southampton are having a poor season, that should be a bit of a difficult game. For some reason, 4-4-2 for us wasn't good enough to get us out of League One. But... Every time we've come up against 4-4-2 since we switched formation, it's been really difficult to get a result. So it's working for our opposition teams, but it's not necessarily working that or didn't work that well for us. Really is quite difficult to play against. I'll lift that over the top looking for the run of Saria. And he's put it down well. Can he turn inside? A couple of defenders with him. Oh, and the pass, unfortunately, a little bit misplaced. Uh, Southampton... Defending very well so far. Nobody's been as terrible as Brentford, have they, since? So hopefully that sort of thing... It probably won't be a one-off. But hopefully it's... Well, thankfully it's not happening every bloody game. Because that would just be really annoying. How is that their free kick? And how is their man, Watts, in the middle, managed to avoid a yellow card for that challenge on Elijah Stone? I am fuming on multiple counts. Stone, switched out wide. We'll knock this out wide if we can. Saria wins it well. Despite being physically dominated. Stone through the gap there to Rodoni. Plenty of men around him. Kay Gordon on the run. Semenyo is, and he's got the run. He's got the legs. On the volley, Mers. Brilliant save. Straight at the keeper. Tried to find the corner. Couldn't. Manu Viejo spun me brilliantly. Now Jonathan David's in behind. This is dangerous. From maybe scoring at one end to nearly conceding at the other. Manu Viejo. Back to... I know Viejo again. Jonathan David. Ramsey forward from right back. Oh, the clearance is poor. And now Watts is in. Not only has he gotten away with not getting a booking for nailing Elijah Stone after the ball had gone, he's now scored a bloody goal. Annoyed, Chez. Annoyed. Ah, annoyed. Good goal, though. Of course, it's his, de it's his debut, or at least his first game of the season, and he scores. Just my luck. That's FM things, that is. Thank you. Give me it back. Stop it, please, Southampton. This is really good football from you. Watts. I've got an irrational hatred of Watts now, I think. Jonathan David. Oh, he's got a yellow card. Saria. Come on, then. Just get it away from Watts. Go on, Cade. Knock it on. They're closing me down. Ah, turn away. Deliver it. Oh, it's not bad, actually. Oh, Rodoni, excellent touch. Was he onside? He was. Oh, Semenyo. Brilliant stop by Carmona. That was flying tops. They're making a change. Curtis Jones is coming on, probably for Watts, presumably. Thank God for that. Piss off, pal. See you later. Elijah Stone with the delivery is this decent. And Hinkabi! Yay! Good header. Good save. Stone again. Hinka PA could be underneath it for a second time. Just out muscled. Can I bring this down? Gordon's done well. There's support from Martins and Gwilt. Rudoni looking for Semenyo. Oh, my bubble free! Oh! Side netting only. This is tough against Southampton. This is the sort of challenge I expected at Premier League level. Not bloody Brentford. Over to Stone. Into Rudoni. Saria. Just need to find Semenyo because when we do, we stand a good chance of scoring a goal, but not on that occasion. It's only seven minutes to go. 
Not sure if Brera Martins is actually going to get the opportunity to get subbed off at this rate. Gineppo brings that down, turns on it. Oh, God, that was quick footwork I wasn't prepared for. Curtis Jones with a little dink. Can we get there? We have. Incapi does well. Incapi A. Let trip over saying his name. Rudoni looking for Soria. Come on then, Angel Di Soria. What have you got? Look for Semenyo. Oh, it's a good ball. It's a good ball. It's well cut out. Oh, Gineppo wins that encounter. Oh, and Incapi A gets caught on it. If anything. Oh, he's intercepted it well. Okay, fair enough. I'll let him off. Rudoni. I wanted to try and get that to Semenya, but I did certainly try and force that to him there. But he is my best option for a goal. Oh, what a block. What a block. 30 seconds to go. Can we get that equaliser? Whipped in towards the middle. Saria's up. Saria's down. Rudoni on the volley. Oh, God, I thought that was in the bottom corner. I really did. Oh, man. What a way to equalise that would have been. It would have been a stunning goal. I think I almost broke my chair, I think. Oh, dearie me. Nine shots. No bloody goals this time. Can I play Brentford every week, please? Defeat to Southampton. Our first loss since we played Chelsea. Sees us drop to fourth. Oh, no. Other sides also lost. City and United were both undefeated, I think. Or was it Chelsea's Chelsea that were on zero? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. We've been in the latter game. So we're still... I mean, there's a point that separates the top six, for Christ's sake. Chelsea lost 2-0 to Wolves, as you can see. Oh, actually, you might not be able to see there at the bottom. Hang on. Uh, Chelsea lost to Wolves, as you can see there at the bottom. Hiya. Uh, Brentford can score goals. Look, they just won 4-0 away from home against West Ham. Uh, Man United lost 2-1 to Watford. City won on this match day, which means they must have lost on a previous one. Uh, well, they drew 1-1. One, one. I knew there was two two teams above us that were undefeated. It must have been Chelsea and Manchester United. City must have lost the game earlier in the season because clearly they've had a decent month. They lead the way. We follow closely behind. But Burnley is still up here. Burnley having a great season. Tomorrow it will be Spurs that we sim. Brighton, West Ham and Forest that we play. Things are going particularly well for us so far. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Do make sure, as ever on YouTube, that you drop the video a like and subscribe so you never miss another video. There's a notification bell you can tick as well, and that way you'll even get an alert every time I upload. Go on, do it. Don't cost you a penny. Thank you very much for watching, though, and watching all the ads and helping me pay my mortgage. I appreciate it very much indeed. I'll see you next time.